Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'd like to talk for a moment about why there are so few silent films still remaining. Well, let's start off with an alarming statistic. Martin Scorsese's Film Foundation estimates that 80% of American films made between 1894 and 1930 are lost. Let me repeat that. 80% of all films made between 1894 and 1930 are lost. Why? The first problem is nitrate decomposition. Before 1950, all films were shot on what's called cellulose nitrate film, which is eagerly inflammable and which also deteriorates rapidly into a kind of a gelish sort of goo. And once it deteriorates, it's gone forever. There's a saying in the film preservation business, nitrate won't wait. And it's absolutely true. Nitrate, once it's gone, it's gone. And unlike a book, if a bad copy survives and you can typeset it again and it's as good as new, once the negative of film is gone, it's gone forever. So nitrate decomposition is one problem. Another problem is the fact that the studios, when they first made these films, um, up until 1950, had no idea of television, had no idea of DVDs, video cassettes, Blu-ray, any of this sort of stuff, had no idea of ancillary markets. And in many cases, the studios didn't take care of these films themselves. And so they more or less would screen them a couple of times, re-release them, then put them on the shelf and forget them. So that's another reason, and they would just sit there and deteriorate. And the final reason is that the studios didn't value the works themselves and they basically, not only from a financial point of view, from an artistic point of view, we're way behind in film preservation. Uh, the Cinémathèque Française under Henri Langlois, the British Film Institute, have all been years ahead of us in preserving our national film heritage, the heritage of the United States. It really, the preservation started in France. So that basically it's a combination of nitrate decomposition, the fact that the, the films were not taken care of by the studios, and also that they didn't value them, and often actually threw prints out because they were no longer considered valuable or commercial enough to exploit. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.